Hello guys, welcome back and assalamu alaikum. This is your teacher, Dr. Hadi. Today we will discuss the role of vitamin A in vision. But the topic on the whiteboard are actually two. One is the visual cycle or world's visual cycle. We will discuss this as well as the photoreceptor transduction cascade. But in two separate videos, in first video lecture, only the visual cycle will be discussed. And in the next video lecture, photoreceptor transduction will be discussed. Remember that these two topics are much related with one another. And if you want to get a clear, crystal clear idea of how vitamin A is involved in vision, how current, how nerve pulse is produced, then you should watch all these two videos both together. Before I start the visual cycle, let me tell you one thing that how we perceive, how we see objects with the help of eye. Suppose if this is a, a pen and I, I want to see that pen. So in order to see that this pen, the light, the, 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 there must be light should be there. The light falls on the object, any object, suppose the pen. And when the light falls on that object light will be reflected from the object and it will enter in our eye inside our eye the light is converted into current a small current which is also called nerve impulse as well so this small current tra travels to our brain inside our brain we perceive we agree that this that this is a, a pen okay so inside our eye let's suppose if this is a person and you want to see this person first light should be reflected from that person and it will cross the lens of your eye this is your eye crossing the lens the light will strike a very special membrane called the retina called the retina this retina is specialized in capturing the light and converting this light into electrical signal or current this retina is very specialized that's why the photoreceptor the photoreceptors are present in the retina and once a small current is produced this current is produced in a nerve called the optic nerve this nerve which i have just mentioned as a neuron this current will be transferred to the brain where in where in the brain the image of that person will be registered and you will see that person okay so this is all what we have just discussed in a nutshell now in 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 our, in our later video i will let you explain how this current is produced from the retina into that optic nerve. This is called photoreceptor transduction cascade, but in the upcoming video lecture. Before this, we will discuss the visual cycle, world visual cycle, how vitamin A is involved, what changes occur in, in the structure that is responsible for the image formation. So, Starting from the light, inside your eye, that is called retina, in the retina, there are two types of cells. One is called the two types of cells. One is called the rod cells. Other one is called the cone cells. Fine. Rod and cones. This is cone cell inside the retina i have taken out this retina here and this still the same retina but a little bit large size inside your retina rod cells and cone cells rod cells help us uh, seeing objects in the in the dark time or in the full brighter day but the cones are actually involved in color perception look uh, if i see this is uh, a pen and I, I know that this is a, a red cape 
and white body so this is because of another cell called cones but if you go to the rod cell rod cell help you just the margins of the objects and how to see in in the day and seeing in the night or uh, the dark when you enter a room where there is no light all lights are off and still you can see objects so this rod actually help you okay now inside the rod inside the rod there is special protein there is a special protein called rhodopsin called what called rhodopsin okay i'm leaving this diagram now i hope you got what i have delivered here i'm going to write rhodopsin so you at least you got idea where is rhodopsin rhodopsin is present inside the rod cells and rod cell is present inside the retina and retina is inside your eye okay what is rhodopsin rhodopsin is a combination of two molecules it is a kind of conjugated molecule means two different molecules combine this is called conjugated so what are these two different things one is opsin protein one is protein opsin and second is vitamin a that is called 11 cis retinal today we will use the word cis and trans retinal retinol instead of vitamin a okay so these two form rhodopsin when the light falls on your retina what happens that this rhodopsin is broken down into two pieces one is the opsin and another one is the all trans retinal all trans retinal so what changes here we can see two things must be memorized number one when the light falls on the rhodopsin a small current is produced this current is called nerve impulse that travels brain this is number one number two the retinal here is ALL uh, sorry 11 cis 11 cis 11 cis retinal is going to convert in all trans retinal. so there is trans if you see there is trans what is cis and trans this is a simple structure of vitamin A not a complete structure in the structure of vitamin A if you see there are double bonds we saw one two three four double bonds are there this is carbon number seven carbon number eight nine ten eleven eight carbon number eleven there is a double bond where two hydrogen atoms are positioned on the same side such kind of vitamin a is called cis retinal what cis retinal because this is happening at carbon number 11 so that is why it is called 11 cis retinal otherwise all other double bonds we have three more double bonds all these three double bonds do not have such kind of configuration they are all in trans form now what is trans in in case of trans uh, if hydrogen one hydrogen is at that side so another hydrogen will be in the opposite direction these two are not on the same side so this kind of uh, vitamin a will be called trans and this will be called as a cis so this is a difference that when light falls on your retina on the rhodopsin what happens that this cis is converted into trans form this just small change occur with the help of light so the two things that 
happens by the help of light i already discussed one is a small current and second is the conversion of cis into transform so we got all trans written on now you got word about what is trans but what is mean by all all means that we have four double bond all of the four double bond they have this kind of configuration they are in transform so we <laughs> we got light we got our image everything but now we want this breakdown to restore back so how it will uh, occur the uh, 11 trans retinal and do you know what is all all it already it's discussed in the structure of vitamin a okay at the last carbon at the last carbon when there is C double bond OH, this is called retinal all form. And when there is CH2OH, this is called all retinol. So I hope you also memorize this retinal and retinol. So all trans retinol is converting back into 11 cis retinol by the help of an enzyme called isomerase inside your eye. This, this thing is happening inside your eye. So isomerase enzyme convert uh, this into 11 cis retinal and you know 11 cis retinal here. This opsin, the opsin will combine back with this 11 cis retinal. These two will combine together to give us the original molecule rhodopsin back. So we got rhodopsin. This is a cycle. Again, light will fall on the rhodopsin, break down into opsin and all trans retinol current produced. These two, these two, opsin and 11 trans retinol converting into 11 cis retinol combine together to give us rhodopsin. This is just simple. But in reality, not all trans retinol convert into 11 cis retinol by that way only 20% 30% conversion takes place inside your eye remaining a lot of trans retinol still there it need to convert back in in, in 11 cis retinol so uh, there is another pathway for the lf uh, l trans retinol to convert this pathway is the 11 trans retinol enters your blood enters your blood from eye enters your blood reach to the liver it will reach to the liver inside liver trans retinol is converted into retinol and you know what is that so actually this is oxidation this is what this is oxidation so all trans retinol is oxidized into all trans retinol trans trans just the difference is retinol into retinol this is oxidation by the help of an enzyme called dehydrogenase enzyme dehydrogenase enzyme alcoholic dehydrogenase enzyme okay so this is your enzyme that causing oxidation of the trans retinol into trans retinol this is simple then inside the liver all trans retinol is converted into 11 cis retinol 11 cis here null null both null null but the trans form is converting into cis form so who is involved in the, this is isomerase isomerase converting trans into cis form the all is still there because this is oxidized form and this is still oxidized form so if you want to convert this oxidized form back into the 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 retinal form from the retinol to retinal form you need same enzyme dehydrogenase here same but in this case we will reduce it so in this case that the enzyme reduce it from retinol to retinal so both this step has happened these two steps happened now if you see all trans retinol converting into 11 cis retinol by the help of isomerase so here again we have isomerase so okay the difference is that 
here isomerase is converting trans into cis but it's al al here it is converting trans into cis but both are all all okay fine so this is another pathway where 11 cis retinol is converted into 11 cis retinol uh, retinol into retinol and this retinol will again combine with opsin to give us rhodopsin so the cycle is completed in both the pathways this is pathway number one and this is pathway number two at the end of the process we will be having 100 percent all the fragments converted into rhodopsin now there is one thing that is called dark adaptation time what is mean by this dark adaptation time whenever you enter in a, a room a dark room from the light means you are in the daylight uh, you enter in a dark room suppose a cinema theater for few seconds or minutes you will see nothing your eyes cannot see anything it takes some time after time you started seeing people around you okay you can identify who's sitting there but this time which takes for your eyes that help to convert the the fragments opsin and all trans retinol back into rhodopsin this is the time that, that that we call it dark adaptation time the time it takes because of this conversion otherwise if you enter from a brighter day light into a dark room at once you start seeing people around here it means that within a fractions all of your trans retinol and opsin they have combined together but it does not ha it, it, it doesn't happen like this actually it takes some time why that the consumption of time is is because of this this journey that all trans retinol has to go to the liver through blood inside the liver it has converted in it has to convert it into the uh, retinol form and then from retinol into cis retinol form and then from cis and in, back into the retinol so this another pathway leads to consumption of time hence it is called dark adaptation time the definition is very clear what is dark adaptation time it takes some time it takes some time for the breakdown products for example opsin and retinol to recombine to form rhodopsin similarly when you come out of the theater from a dark room when you come out of the theater at once when you uh, expose your eyes to the direct sunlight you feel like uh, uh, closing your eyes for a while and you may feel some pain inside your eye why this pain is feeling because of the breakdown because when light falls on your eye this cause the breakdown of rhodopsin into opsin and all translator so here a little bit pain is generated it is because of this breakdown so both uh, ideas were discussed in this visual cycle i hope that we will discuss the next topic photoreceptor transduction in my next video lecture uh, in a nutshell uh, let me give you some summary once again that in visual cycle the main thing that is well is rhodopsin rhodopsin is present inside your eye inside your eye there is a special membrane called retina inside retina there are rod cells inside rod cell there is rhodopsin rhodopsin consists of a protein opsin and uh, a vitamin a element cis retinol light falls and the rhodopsin breaks down into opsin and all trans retinol all trans retinol convert back into rhodopsin by two pathways pathway number one it is converting direct into 11 cis retinol by the help of isomerase the remaining all trans retinol will follow another pathway and ultimately these will convert into 11 cis retinol and then 11 cis retinol into rhodopsin back so uh, wait for me till the next video and till then bye bye